Congressman, it's an important question, but the way we rank our results is essentially based on user feedback, and that's what drives the iterative loop in our, uh, you know, in what we put in. So I do we, understand we, how it's prioritized that way, and I watch what's going on. Um, but I, I made this point that if we don't know who the thousand are, and we can't look at their social media, and we can't see the algorithms to understand the results of the work they're doing behind closed doors, and yet the public believes that it's an open forum where there's an, a balanced exchange of open access for information, and of course, it's not. And so I have said, we either need to know who they are and look at their social media, and if that doesn't solve this problem, next step then is publish the algorithms. If that doesn't happen, then the next step on the line is Section 230. The amendments to Section 230. And the step on the line beyond that is a Teddy Roosevelt step. Now, I'm looking with Mr. Gomer. I don't want to regulate anything, but neither do I want to see a society that's so polarized and so divided and so loaded that the will of the American people can't be expressed in the ballot box. That looks like either where we are or the direction we're going. And I would just finish it with this. I have a seven-year-old granddaughter who picked up her phone before the election and she's playing a little game, kind of game a kid would play, and up on there pops a picture of her grandfather. And I'm not going to say into the record what kind of language was used around that picture of her grandfather, but I'd ask you, how does that show up on a seven-year-old's iPhone who's playing a kid's game? Congressman, uh, iPhone is made by a different company, and so, you know, I mean... Uh, I it might have been an Android. I, it's just, it was a hand-me-down of some kind. Uh, you know, I... I'd ask, yeah. I'm happy to follow up and understand the specifics. It, there may be an application which was being used which uh, had a notification, but uh, I'm happy to understand it better and uh, clarify it for you. Okay. Uh, thank you for your testimony and yield back the balance of my time. Appreciate Chairman. it.